And thank you for choosing 23 ABC News at 11. I'm Jackie Parks. And I'm Tim Callahan. We've been hoping to get rain, and boy, did we get it tonight. A record more than six tenths of an inch of rain fell between 6 and 8 o'clock tonight, causing widespread street flooding all over downtown and in outlying areas. We begin tonight with 23 ABC's Amanda Gomez, who joins us live from Union Avenue to tell us about several streets being left underwater. Amanda. Jackie, it was a much different scene here earlier tonight. I'm here at Union Avenue and Truxton. This is traditionally one of the areas hit hardest by the flooding because the water builds up underneath this bridge, and that caused big problems for drivers earlier tonight. Scott Barry and several others were forced to wade through waist deep water to get to safety after his car got stuck at Union and Truxton Avenue. I was coming down here and I saw a few other cars going through and it didn't look that deep. And I got through there and just all of a sudden my car stopped. Barry says he was lucky some good Samaritans came to the rescue. And they pushed me out as far as they could. I helped them push another car out that way and uh, good people. <laughs> but this wasn't the only area downtown affected by the flooding. Police were directing traffic at F Street and 23rd Street. And this is how it looked for drivers on 21st Street tonight. Drivers also ran into trouble on the east side at Bernard and Mount Vernon. So while it was good to see the rain, too much of it makes for a soggy and messy night for drivers in Bakersfield. So as you can see behind me, this road is back open now. So that's good news. But as this rain continues to fall, it's important to be careful, slow down, and take it easy on the roadways. Reporting live in downtown Bakersfield, Amanda Gomez, 23 ABC.